8.45 here in Washington. U.S. ports are preparing for these enormous, giant ships that will pass through the Panama Canal once the expansion work is done in two years. Jim Spellman takes a look at how one city on the East Coast is handling this major upgrade. When the $5.2 billion massive expansion of the Panama Canal is completed in 2015, much bigger ships carrying over twice the cargo of today's vessels will be able to pass through the locks. But before those vessels can dock on the east coast of the United States, ports in places like Baltimore must complete their own expansions. Stephanie Rawlings-Blake is the city's mayor. This is an all-hands-on-deck uh, endeavor to make sure that the port of Baltimore has, uh, we know it has had a great past, but this is about making sure and, and ensuring that it has a wonderful future as well, that it's solid. Baltimore is gambling that $105 million in improvements, including dredging the harbor's depth to 15 meters or 50 feet, and installing these four massive new cranes capable of offloading the new ships, will pay off with new jobs and economic development as cargo from Asian manufacturing giants like China begins arriving. If you are a U.S. port city and you do not uh, have a 50-foot uh, you know, if you haven't dredged at 50 feet, call it quits. You might as well close up shop. You're not going to you're you're not going to be sustainable. Baltimore will be one of only two East Coast ports capable of docking the so-called Super Post Panamax ships. Mayor Rawlings Blake says the expanded port could create 6,000 new port-related jobs, and the benefits don't stop there. Much of the cargo that arrives here at the port of Baltimore ends up on a truck shipped throughout the eastern part of the United States spreading potential impact from improvements here at the port well beyond Baltimore. And the improved port could also make the Mid-Atlantic more attractive to American manufacturing and exports. You do have to have a global vision and you have to think long term. And that's what helped us to get that competitive advantage. An advantage the mayor hopes will pay off for decades to come. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Baltimore.